Let us now understand about retardation, also known as deacceleration or negative acceleration. I think the name themselves would have kind of suggested to you what each of our, what are we referring to. Now, many in cases, what may happen is that, let's say, let's just revisit what is meant by acceleration. Acceleration was basically the change in velocity of a moving object with respect to the time taken okay now let's say you know you would have seen let's say there's a car okay it's moving around the road at a speed of 40 kilometers an hour all of a sudden there was a zebra crossing on which there were certain pedestrians who were crossing the road so the car slows down, slows down, slows down and comes to the speed of 0 kilometers per hour. So in this process, as the car came down from 40 kilometers per hour to 0 kilometers per hour, what happened to the velocity? The velocity kept on decreasing. Okay. So what was the change in the velocity? The change in the velocity was from 40 to 0. Okay. And acceleration or change in velocity is referred to as final velocity minus initial velocity upon time. Let's say the time taken from moving from 40 to 0 was 1 upon 8 hours okay now my final velocity was 0 my initial velocity was 40 and the time I took was 1 by 8 so I get 40 divided by 1 by 8 hours or 40 into 8 is equal to minus 320 I mean this 1 by 8 seems to be a bit more because it can't practically be possible to have this negative thing but just for the work of example so basically this negative acceleration is known as retardation when the speed or the velocity decreases for an object and it is negative that situation is known as retardation 